Three years ago, I made the decision to purchase my first ATM machine. And as a broke college student, I prayed that this one machine would make me just a measly $300 per month which would be just enough money for me to pay for groceries and maybe one or two drinks at the bar. Fast forward three years later, and I'm now at the point where I'm actually making the same amount of money as a doctor from my ATM business. This is a story of how I was able to purchase my very first rental property with the money made from my ATM business. So starting off with my very first ATM location, if you guys don't know from my previous videos, I found my first location just by walking into the business and I saw an ATM that was out of order. And then I went ahead and I asked the owner if they needed an ATM. Long story short, I placed my very first machine at that liquor store and it makes me about $500 per month, which is pretty good considering I was still in school at the time and I only needed about $300 per month. So I was amazed at how much money this one ATM location could actually make me. So then I actually broke down the math. So if I had two machines, that would be, you know, a thousand bucks a month, three machines, 1500, four machines, 2000 and so on and so forth. So at that point I was hooked and every single day I would break down the numbers, I would do the math and I would try to figure out how much money would it take me to make $10,000 per month from my ATM business. So I kept saving up all the money from the first machine, then I bought my second machine, then I took all of the profits from the second machine, but my third, fourth, fifth. Then around my eighth or ninth machine, I really had to sit down and I really had to strategize. I had some locations that were doing as high as $900 per month, but then I also had machines on the other end that were doing extremely poor. And when I mean extremely poor, they were doing like 100 you know, $125, $150 per month in profit. And these were just not worth my time at all. So I decided to stop chasing locations that were not home runs and I cut out all of the fat. So I cut out all of my barber shops, nail salons, and all of the locations that I personally did not believe that were gonna do over $300, $400, $500 per month. And this took my game to a whole new level. Now I'm anywhere between 5,000 to 7,000 transactions per month, somewhere in that range. So I took all of that money and I tucked it away into a savings account. And I didn't really sit on that money for a long time. I actually took a lot of that big chunk of my savings and I started funneling it into ads to start promoting a software. And if you watch some of my other videos, the software is called ClickFunnels. And I started promoting this software and this software actually pays me on a recurring monthly commission because it is on a subscription basis. So every single month I get about $20 per user, but once I get to 40 users, that's actually gonna bump up to $40 per month. And then I'm gonna be making about $1,600 per month on top of my ATM commissions. So I'm getting a little bit of revenue there, but once I hit 100 subscribers, they're actually gonna pay me to buy a dream car of my choice. So I started saving all of this money, putting it aside, and that's actually when I started to look for rental properties in the beginning of 2021. So I started looking everywhere. I began looking on Redfin, Zillow, Realtor.com. I even started talking to some realtors, and I was looking for duplexes, triplexes, um, and quadplexes, you know, anything multifamily that I could live in and then rent out the other units. And I couldn't really find anything in my area that I actually wanted to live in and also rent out at the same time. Most of these multifamily units were actually in the worst neighborhoods and there's, you know, the murder rates are through the roof. So I didn't really want to live in an area like that. I was looking for something that met the 1% rule. So meaning if a house cost $100,000, you want your rents to be at 1% of that purchase price. So, and that's on a monthly basis. So if the house costs $100,000 and you're meeting the 1% rule, you want to rent that house for $1,000 per month. And that's a general rule that real estate investors use in order to see if a property is profitable or not. It's like a quick calculation. So for months and months and months, I kept looking on Redfin and I couldn't find anything I, that met my needs until I found this property right here. So the house was originally listed for $185,000, um, but they actually dropped the price a couple times. And then uh, that's actually when I contacted a realtor because it was only on Redfin for, I think it was like an hour or two. So I contacted the realtor and then I actually went ahead and scheduled a, a tour of the property the next day. So this property actually exceeds the 1% rule because I can actually rent the property out for $2,100 and it was listed for $175,000. So it was a screaming deal. So I actually made the offer at $165,000 and they actually counter offered at 172 k So I actually accepted that offer and then we actually signed the contract and um, basically 
basically it was time for the inspections and the appraisal and all that stuff. So the property is currently listed for $2,100 on the Section 8 website. And my uh, property manager is actually doing a bunch of showings this week. So hopefully we're going to get it rented out very soon. I could not have been able to take advantage of this deal if it wasn't for my ATM business or if it wasn't for my affiliate marketing business where I promote ClickFunnels and other companies software, which doesn't cost me a dime because I'm using their software and all I do is collect a monthly recurring commission from the sales that I made months and months ago. So even though it took work to get my affiliate business set up, I'm now still collecting all of this money even though I put in the work, you know, a year ago. Which is why I put together a free course for you guys because I know how hard it is, especially to start an ATM business. So there's got to be some way in which you can start an ATM business even though you don't have a lot of money for it. And I think this affiliate marketing business is a great way to transition yourself from not having a lot of money to promoting somebody else's product so where you can collect some monthly recurring commissions and then you can save all of that money up for your first ATM machine. And then once you have your ATM business established, you can take all of that money and then funnel it into real estate. It's all about leveling up. If you get stuck in the same spot, you're never going to level up. You're never going to increase your income year over year. And that's why a lot of people who are employees who are nine to five, who have nine to five jobs, they get stuck at this flat line, you know, steady salary for the rest of their life. And they can never climb that ladder. So like I said, that course is linked down below. It's absolutely free. If you don't like it, don't use it. But like I said, it's there for you because I want to help out the community. So if you guys like content like this, please give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comment section below what you guys want to see next. Do you want to see more ATM stuff? You want to see real estate stuff? You want to see affiliate marketing stuff? Let me know down below, guys. So that's it.